Joy, and uh, I'm also known as uh, Tracy King in some movies, but I changed it to Marilyn Joy. I went back to my original first name, uh, the uh, longer version for Mary, Marilyn Joy, for happiness, bittersweet it means. And uh, Tracy King I used, but I used to get letters from the government wanting to know if I wanted to join the armed services, and I got tired of it and it scared me, so I changed it. So that's why you will see some movies with uh, me with different names. Because uh, as I was calling the guy behind the camera, I never really had to hustle for anything. I was one of those, I came to Hollywood, I left Louisville, Kentucky, I was born in New Orleans. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a dancer, I'm proud of it. I had the bod, as I told him, come back, <laughs> and, uh, you know, come back. And uh, I'm on stage, I'm dancing, and this guy comes to me and says, you want to be in the movies? And I go, yeah, right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard about Hollywood, yeah, right, uh-huh. But I never laid on the couch for a part. <laughs> and he always came to me. Uh, I did TV, Good Times, all that stuff. Girlfriend told him about me, got the part. Uh, I had little tricks that I would use, you know, like uh, I walked in, it was June or something like that, really hot, and I had on a fur coat. And it was a part for a body scene. And I took and I dropped the fur coat and I had on the tiniest little bikini you can imagine. And I got the part. And <laughs> so I had all these little tricks, you know, the eye of the tiger, but I never really had to do what everybody said you have to do. You have to come to Hollywood, you know, fight for the part. They just kept coming at me. And then when I, after I met Al Adamson, he came actually to my house. He saw that I had this huge wardrobe, which I still have. And uh, not the same clothes, of course, but uh, a bunch of clothes. And after that, I worked, I worked, and I worked. And just like the movie, the stewardess movie, you just, you're going to see, if you like me in it, uh, through word of mouth. So I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, you know? <laughs> Hello, my dear. How are you? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> down in front. <laughs> yeah, I won't say her last name, but Tanya. We played like two African imported slaves, you know, for Ilsa. And uh, I really learned to appreciate editing because in this film, we did such a good job. When, when Tanya got killed, I, I, was, I was like, we were like, we could have the same emotions, you know. We were like the twin African import. And uh, it was a good scene, even the director, he also cried, everybody cried, but when I saw what the editor did with it, I cried. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you can do a really great job in a film, and it's, the director can do really good with you, but the editor is the key. He can love the director, or he can screw a director's film up totally. But I love this film. I really think it's cute, it's fun, and I think the boys, some boys are gonna like this film too. I mean, it's like, you know, we're talking about girls gone wild. Hey, there we are. We're gone wild. Uh, not a great condition, you know, being kidnapped in all the movie. Um, but there's the cheerleader thing, you know. It's all fun. It's all fun. I was really happy. I'm really glad I did it. We had to do some real bad things in the film. You know, I, had a, I have a picture of me somewhere where we have a tarantula crawling up my face. And in one of the scenes, I had to rip somebody's, you know, private parts and lips off and things like that. <laughs> and um, I always, I, I, I just, you know, I had all these films going, and I, I, I can't say really bad things about anything in the business. I know you're supposed to, but I can't because I think I made everybody's work easy. I wasn't a complainer, you know, and I love Ilsa. I only got to do one, but <laughs> I'm surprised by everything. I mean, I'm surprised at how people still like, I mean, not because uh, the film's not good, but how people still like you, you know? It's like when I did the posters and I had a special coloring on my posters and they roll them up and I see people carrying them and I know about Playboy Hustle. Why would they want my picture? Why would they, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I can't explain it. I didn't know it would become a cult film. I had no idea. I was just an actress. <laughs> I like Don. I, I like Don Edmonds. Matter of fact, I just saw him only about two months ago when I went to the theater over here. I think it's on Beverly. Yeah, I saw him and he was like 
sort of like, are you doing, you got a picture in your closet? Because you haven't changed that much, you know. I said, yes, I have. He says, well, I don't know. <laughs> So, yo, you, you must be Dorian Gray, but the truth is I do have a picture about this big in one of my closets, okay? <laughs> That's the God's truth. <laughs> it's one of the pictures that appear on my cover of Players. I did a lot of Player magazine covers. I have a couple of posters out when Fair Fawcett and them was out there with posters, too. They took my eyes out, you know? Yeah, it was about the eyes. It was like this, this, this mad scientist, you know, mm -hmm. his daughter was blind. And uh, they, he needed eyes for her. And I was like, oh, I'm happy to work here. And, they're, and, my, and you hear people in the audience say, no, thinking, yeah, you wait. But anyway, yeah, my mother came on the set. And I had to walk around with that makeup with my eyes, and like the other socket. And my mother started crying. She said, are you sure that stuff is going to come off? But it was fun, too. I mean, I had to actually let go buy real rats. And you don't know how fearful I am of rats. But as now, I had to get over it because my kid now has a hamster, and I still think it's a rat, you know. <laughs> but I got over the fear of rats real easy. Richard Basehart, yeah, that's the one who kept carrying me around my chest. <laughs> I mean, every, he had, well, he had to kind of like, we had to crawl under the house and stuff, and he had to catch me. So, yeah, he would uh, grab me in inconvenient places. <laughs> Actually, that was a fun movie. My husband, uh, that's Daniels again. He was a, a real nice businessman, but I didn't even know my husband was a pimp. <laughs> and the kids in there are my real kids. And uh, they're grown. And uh, I played this unknown suburban, unknown wife. And uh, he was a pimp and he had a lot of hookers and stuff like that. But uh, it was a nice film too. Yeah, it was fun. Nurse Sherry, oh, okay. Actually, if anyone can find a review about Nurse Sherry, it was really good. I saw it and I didn't get it. And if anybody, any of my fans out there want to look it up and see about that review, I think that was one of the first movies that uh, got to show who I truly, I, be, I became an actress, actress, you know? Um, I started getting known in Nurse Sherry, although the other girl was a star, you know, and it was like, everybody was like asking me, why you always appear in this guy's movie? I said, because it's like going to school, getting paid for it, although the pay wasn't that big, but, <laughs> but I enjoyed the movie. It was fun. It was kind of demonic kind of thing, supposedly, and the graveyard was just a backyard with some tombs or something. <laughs> so I, I, I really enjoy these movies. And I guess maybe I should see why other people would. But you know, with all the new movies, you think, why would they still hang on to these? You know? Oh, I get to stick my butt in him, <laughs> George Hamilton's face. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I got to stick my tush in George Hamilton's face. Let me tell you what happened with that. There's a, a porn movie, a porn theater on on Santa Monica. So it says, Happy Hooker Goes to Washington. <laughs> I said, my movie's out, my movie's out. And I took my mother in, and it was really not my movie. It was the Happy Hooker hardcore porn movie. <laughs> it wasn't the Happy Hooker I did with uh, Hamilton at all. And I said, Mama, I, 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 maybe there's Mama. Maybe my scene's going to come up. <laughs> I said, I think we better go. I don't even want to see the rest of this movie. I so scout sign her. I took my mom to see a porn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, the guy who played uh, in the TV show with Laverne and Shirley, I didn't yeah, yeah. like him as an actor. <laughs> and that was the only time I never or ever could say anything negative about anybody in anything or any place I worked. I did not like him as an actor. As a person, I don't know how he was or anything, but he, he, he wasn't like, you know, you have to give and take from each other to make something work. He wasn't even a give, and a, a give or a taker. He was like, I'm a take, take, take in the scene. I, I don't know. I think it could have been a thousand times better, but I did enjoy the movie. And like I said, my favorite part was sticking my butt in George Hunter's face. <laughs> Like I told him, there was a couple of scenes we wish we could have, we talked about would have gone longer because 
as with this film, as with our Adamson film, the girls always come out a little strong, you know? We, it, you, you always see like the new movies where the woman is screaming, she's getting killed. But here, if you see all of ours, the women are butt kickers, you know? You see in this movie, the girls, they, they, they doing the sex thing on top, but underneath they, they planning on escaping. So it shows us this could be strong, you know? We always, you can see we're plotting. The minute the girl took the fork out of the drawer, you knew we were up to something, you know? And even in real life, I think that too. That was a slave movie. And uh, they, Al had us actually going to a swamp. And not a swamp, but a pond. We really was in a pond, and I was sinking into the pond. And I'm like, Al, get out of here. <laughs> it was really a pond. I mean, we could have got sick, but you know, yeah. That, that was a, I cried when I did that movie. I kind of could like, I'm very, I like history a lot. And I, it, it just, it, I cried. I cried when I did that movie. So if anything I'm doing in that movie, if you see tears, I'm not fake and I'm not making myself cry. I am really sad in that movie. I can only imagine, I don't know. I, I would love to do that again. I would love to just one more time in my life play a butt kicking female. I really would. I like those movies. I hated New York, though. You know what happened to me in New York? I went there with a... I took a coat, and I, took, and I wore some tights and everything, and I started out with a coat. By the time I got back to the hotel, I had on uh, four pair of legs, <laughs> three head scarves, two hats, and I, I mean, I was freezing. I had California blood. And not only that, when I got to the hotel, they asked me, they go, we don't allow hookers in here. <laughs> I said, excuse me? I'm working on a film here. What are you talking about? I was really angry at them. Yeah. And here's our first contestant from Polk. And what is your name, honey? Michelle Thomas. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. You've been doing good so far. I'll give it the old try. Now, what is your name? Sally. Sally Lou Simpson. I did. It was Blazing Stewardess, Naughty Stewardess, uh, Mean Mother, Dobie Gray. Yeah, that was one of my, I think it's one of my first without, I think, Mean Mother. Uh, I did uh, Ilsa, Kentucky Fry Movies, which is an occult film now. Cleopatra Schwartz. I was a six foot, I mean, you can see I'm not, but you know, again, I went in for the interview and the guy says, uh, well, we, you have to take your top off and we have to see him before he could say, so I went, okay, and he was like, okay, and I said, and then you can put the camera down there and shoot up here because I'm really got really nice long legs. So that made me look taller and film. As you can see, if I'm sitting down, you can see I have a short torso, long legs and long arms. So I appear very tall in films. You know, so I enjoy film. Uh, there's movies I did that they've changed the title. I can't even tell you the name of them, but I'm sure some of my fans who have called me up, got my phone number, started talking to me, and a guy that wanted to do, a, there's some book reports on me just lately, interviewed me. Are you sure you're not with the FBI? You know, they know things about me I don't even know about me. So I get kind of nervous when people like, I don't know who called me, who called me. It. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. All right, uh huh. Sometimes I, you know, because people come to me. I, I, I might could be, I probably could be working more if I just kind of like go out there. It might have changed by now. But the, the, I like the stewardess film. I, that's one of my favorites. Hey, what are you trying to do? Get us all killed? At least I did something. Instead of you just sitting around on your lazy, no good ass. The trouble with you, my dear, is your ass is too fucking tight to sit on. And I hope you enjoy all my films. Mm. And I hope some of you guys enjoy them a lot. <laughs>